All right, I'm going to configure Apache's uh, web server um, to allow uh, us to run uh, Python scripts within the web browser. Okay, so by default, Apache cannot run um, run Python scripts, but um, at least the version I'm running, which is 2.4, um, it, it includes the required module to execute Python scripts. So let's re let's configure that. So I'm gonna run the uh, terminal, and I'm gonna edit uh, the Apache configuration file, which is a uh, httpd.conf, and you would have to be a super user to uh, edit that file. And I'm gonna use vim, etc. Um, Apache two, oops. And that's HTTP, and there we go. And so from here, we're going to have to um, uncomment two uh, uh, modules. Well, one module and, and one configuration file. So I'm going to search for that first module, which is mod um, underscore CGI. And I'm going to uncomment this. Um, and oops and the next one we're going to uncomment the um, the vhost.config file because uh, we're going to create a virtual host to test our python scripts and that's it for this file so I'm going to save it and the uh, Next file we're going to actually end, um, edit is the the virtual host file. So we're going to sudo vim etsy. Um, I'm sorry, that's not in etsy. That's in no, it is in etsy. It's etsy Apache um, extra http then v oops vhost.config. Okay, so we can um, you can either um, alter the existing uh, test files that they include, or you can just recreate your your own. So I'm gonna just recreate my own real quick. Uh, let's see. Uh, yeah, so I'm just create the container, the virtual host container. And close out that container. And uh, we can just give it the basics server admin. Let's give it sandbox. Copy from up there. Dev. Then this is going to be the document root. And we're going to include that in our. Um, yeah, let's create it in the same sites directory where I actually put all my code. So it's in the users. And mind you, yours would be different, so you can have to alter your location for your document root. Um, and I'm going to call it uh, Apache Dev, which this file doesn't, this directory doesn't exist yet, so I will create it shortly. And that's it for the document root. Um, and the next important one is script alias and uh, let's see where I'm gonna point that to so same location script alias so I'm basically gonna create an alias of the CGI bin the directory um, so CGI bin and that's going to point to my users directory same directory where I'm storing all of my files Python scripts that is sites slash Apache dev okay and the next one it would just be a directory container and this way we're gonna pass in all the permissions so directory and then we're gonna point it to the location of that directory which is gonna be the same location users Jay Clark sites Apache dev 
and that's it for that. Uh, then we close it out. And then we just add in uh, required uh, options. So we're going to allow override to all. Um, let's see. Oops. Just look better. Um, then uh, then in, this is our, in the newer um, Apache 2.4. Then we're going to require granted. Require all granted. And then we're going to add the handler for the uh, the Perl, uh, Python scripts. So, um, what I just, add handler. And then we're going to include CGI script. And we're going to point it to, I guess, um, we can have CGI, Perl, and uh, Python just so we can run all three. But we're not going to mess with the other two, but we can have it. So it'll be able to execute these two. We can Perl and and Python, and then we're going to just add the other options. Our options will be um, indexes, multi views, multi views, um, and then the most important we're going to exec, we basically execute um, CGI. And then follow same sim links. And that's it. We close that out. Um, give it a server name. Server name, um, let's just call it to, to the Apache dev, the same as my directory. It doesn't have to necessarily be. And then we're going to say the directory index. Okay. Um, oops, if I can spell directory. <laughs> Directory index, and we're gonna we want that to be a Python file. So I'm gonna say index.py, which this file doesn't exist yet. We will create it shortly. And um, mm, we can give it some error logs just in case. Um, so we can say error log and same location as we have up here. All right, so. It's going to be private, private var, oops, log, Apache 2, then it's going to be Apache dev error underscore log. Um, that's fine. Custom, custom log. Same location, private, var, log, Apache 2, and we're going to call it what the same Apache dev access underscore log, and we're going to add common at the end. Okay, and that's it for that. So the only thing we would have to do is we create these two, uh, these two files. So I'm going to save that and then I'm going to just create it. So I'm going to do a sudo touch and then just locate that. That's uh, the path. This is uh, for the first one would be private var log Apache and then the name of the file that I create, which was what uh, Apache, um, Apache dev, right? Uh, Apache dev. And I believe it was a dash, um, dash error log, dash error, dash underscore log. And that will create that file. Enter my super user password. Okay. And then the next file will be access log, right? So, uh, access log and that's that so now we would have to create the directory right let's see where I'm at I'm here so I'm gonna make directory 
within um, within sites. Um, I wanted to Apache dev. Okay, and then I'm going to uh, create a file. So vim um, site Apache dev, and I'm gonna call it index.py. And uh, so yeah, it's, that just includes our shebang for Python. So that's the user bin um, environment in Python 3. And then not just print print uh, Python or on the Python command, so just print out, you know, the simple uh, hello world. Okay. And that's it for this file. Save it. Now we would have since we um, alt altered or edit the uh, configuration, Apache configuration file, it requires it requires us to restart the uh, Apache server. So sudo apache cto restart. And then now let's check the uh, make sure there's no errors in our config file. So config test. So it's going to go through the uh, configuration, make sure we didn't create, you know, accidentally made any errors. Okay. And syntax okay. Okay. So now we should be able to just run the browser. Um, Localhost, and I'm sorry, it wasn't local. It was the, what was it? Apache, Apache Dev. Um, I think it was a mistake. What did I name that file? Let's go back. Um, and I think I missed one step. Um, server name Apache Dev. Let's call it Apache dev dot dev. I prefer a, okay. And the last thing I forgot, I didn't add that to our host file. So we'd have to uh, edit the host file so we can add that, so we can access it from, from the browser using Apache dot dev. Okay, so just at the bottom of your existing um, host, if you have any in there, just add the name of the the virtual host you created, Apache Dev Dev. Save that. And then since I made an error, a change, I would have to restart. Now let's access this file. And there's an internal error. Let's run this command, config test, saying that the syntax is okay, but is it really? All right, so it has to be something wrong with the uh, index.py file we created. So let's go into that file and see what's the problem. Now, um, there may be two, there are, I see two issues here. Let's change the environment to just simple Python. Right, so instead of pointing to Python environment three, let's just say Python to execute Python or default Python. And here we'd have to specify the content type. Right? So the content type in this case is gonna be HTML. Text HTML. So we're gonna say content type text HTML. And we're going to specify a new line. And that looks okay. Save, save that file. And that's, there we go. Hello world. So as you can see, we're running Python um, within it. So within Apache. So, I mean, we can, um, you can do other things with it, like in the other video, uh, um, that I created, uh, we can import time and we can specify the date, right? So I can say um, what date, right? So plus 
today's date. And then we can say um, it's going to be a time dot str function uh, string str, and then we give it a uh, percent for just uh, today's date. And that looks good. Save it. Run it. And it must came with an error. That's why it's not running. But it's not displaying the error. So where's the error? All right. So it's um the time is the error right here. So that should be time dot strf time. I'm not sure why I let that out. Save that. Reload. And there we go. Hello, today's date. So that's it for this uh, tutorial. Um, as you can see, we can actually run Apache scripts within, um, I'm sorry, <laughs> Apache scripts. We can run Python scripts within the Apache web server. And that's it for now.